in today's video we're looking at how to make a VHS effect that looks something similar to this. And I will be giving away a free VHS preset which you can find in the description below. So I've made a new project in Premiere and imported a drone video that I shot a few weeks ago when I was down in Canberra. So under the effects tab you want to search wave warp. So the first thing you want to do is change the wave type to square, leave the wave height at 10, change the wave width to 300, set the direction to 0 degrees and set the wave speed to negative 2. Now if you play back your footage you'll see there's these lines moving through the screen. Depending on what look you want your footage to have, you can change the wave width to have more bars or less bars. So film shot on older cameras such as Super 8 cameras, actually I think I have one. So film shot on cameras similar to this one typically have a smaller aspect ratio. So rather than changing our sequence settings, we're simply just going to crop the footage. Cropping the footage by about 12% on each side looks pretty good to me. So from there I'm going to search the VR glitch effect and apply that to my clip. Now right now the footage looks pretty tragic. So to get rid of this weird distortion on the edges here, we're going to click the drop down box for distortion and drag the distortion for X down to zero. I'm also going to drag the distortion complexity up to 100 which is going to make the edges a bit rougher and give it a more authentic look. Also change the Y axis distortion to 1. So the footage is already looking pretty good but I'm also going to do one more thing. I'm going to head over to the color panel which is where I'm going to open up the creative page and drag the vibrance down just a little bit. I'm going to open up the curves page and I'm going to make a reversed S curve. I'm also going to make the shadows a magenta color. Now you could leave the footage how it is and it looks great, but if you want to go above and beyond you can do one more thing. Most older cameras put a timestamp on the footage, so I'm going to replicate this in Photoshop. I just made a timestamp in Photoshop and I'm going to drag that over the top of my footage. So that is it for this video guys, if you did find this helpful then definitely leave a like below and I will see you in the next video.